Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new Hindenburg update, and this is exciting, we have engines now. They're a little bit further back than they should be, but whatever, we will push on. You can see some brand new rooms on the bottom of the ship that go further aft, all that lovely stuff. So let's get to what we're here for today. So we're going to board via control car, as always, head up the ladder, and out of the radio room. The boys in that finished passenger area, good to look at it, even from the outside. And you can see all the brand new stuff we have added. You'll notice that this goes farther back than the windows, which there is a good explanation for. So let's start, we have a cart. Um, Getting out here adjacent to the suites on B deck, we have some cabin. Uh, we have some ballast tanks and cargo. We have more crew cabins. We have more ballast tanks, more cargo, yet more cargo. And on this side, we have the electrical room. So we have this little thing here, uh, lots of dials, and then we have the main stuff back here, which you can actually see that we are standing on the keel, so that, on the skeleton of the ship, which is very interesting. But yeah, no, more dials on and off, stuff like that. Our next big thing is, so yeah, no, heading aft, we have cargo, 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 uh, some, oh yeah, there is like this extra cargo that's like weirdly up here, um, and then yeah, we have this area. So this is where the interior currently ends. Um, there is still quite a bit more to go, and it's going to be a while, and actually it's going to be a long time until we get to the actual crew spaces. These should be more towards the middle of the ship, so that's a little bit worrying, but whatever. We will deal. Squish things down if we have to. So, heading up here. Uh, it actually looks really nice to have the entire bottom of the ship detailed. So this is... Oh, I forgot to add iron bars here. And then, yeah, this is what the engine looks like. You have the pistons here. You have, this is our... You have this. And the engine car is o very open. So that's something I decided to emulate here. And yeah, this is what that looks like. Now we're going to head over to the other way. Uh, no, nothing important. Sorry, my phone buzzed. I don't know why I pay attention. It's mostly just Discord, but whatever. Heading up. Up, 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 up. We have another engine car. These, which, these do provide an awesome view. It's kind of sad how the crew gets a better view of the outside world than the passengers, which is a little bit annoying, but whatever. Oh, yeah. Here's what it looks like to look in to the Hindenburg stuff. Yeah, that looks cool. And yeah, no, so, yes, engine car, very far back. I am definitely worried about that as we continue on. Um, this hopefully won't become... Like, we won't have to s tighten things down too much. I'm actually going to start working aft forward. Uh, so, yeah, I just need to figure out where the tail... Because the keel pretty much ends right where the tail begins. Or right when the wings, where the fins begin. So, knowing where that is is going to be actually very important. We're going to actually mark that. That's going to be temporary marking for now, just making sure we know where everything, where the fin is for, and where the keel ends. So yeah, I have until right here. That's all I have, I have to fill in. It looks like a lot, but it, once you actually start adding stuff, it start, it looks smaller 
smaller, smaller, um, but yeah, no, this is going to be awesome once we finish it, so yeah, we're gonna work on, well, I'm gonna work on building stuff this way, actually, for now, we can just, I'm just gonna take the iron bars, and my little construction project is going to be increasing the iron bars up to where this ends. Okay, so get up here, add that, and continue on. Actually, I might add like quartz stairs to here. And up. Yeah, no, we're actually going to make it so that you can't stand on the very end block. We're going to put, like, one here. That's going to be the very end of the keel. So, we're adding all this. Actually, it might... It's more space than it looks, but the scaling is definitely off. I underestimated just how much stuff there was along the keel. Do, 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 do. Going up and up and up the ship. It gets a lot slower once you start getting to the more up areas. They become much harder to build. Problem if we're gonna blimp like this. There's so much just heading up. And yeah, we're already like right at the end, by the way. Oh, and I failed somewhere. Okay, I see where. I see where. I do. So. I see where I failed. Now we are up to here. Yeah, that goes to there. Did not take. That wasn't too many blocks uh, to fill in there. So, let's continue down this way. Get that. But yeah, no, right back here it's just going to be like ballast tanks and stuff. And yeah, eventually there are going to be like crew quarters somewhere along this. Hopefully it isn't too close to the back of the ship. But that will be very in interesting, because there will, are windows there. There are actually a lot of windows, though, towards the back. I mean, not, not, not as many compared to the front, just way more than I thought. Like, the Hindenburg, I didn't imagine having many windows. Mostly just the passenger area, but I didn't realize that they had quite a few, actually, for crew areas and whatnot. So who knows? Today we might actually have the entire pass, the entire uh, area of the ship that's intended for people uh, completely done. That would be very interesting. I think I'm actually going to get to the. I'm going to work on yeah, getting to the very um yeah. I'm going to get to getting to the back propellers. We'll see how that will do an update then. See how it looks. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. 
Alright. So yeah, that's what that looks like. Don't worry, it will, it will get filled in. Not all these iron bars are just going to stay iron bars. It's going to be like... There's going to be like crew quarters and stuff all along the way. But yeah, no, that's what that looks like filled in. Once you actually start putting stuff there, you realize that it isn't that much space. And yeah, that does mean we're going to have this really awkward stair here. But yeah, no, just keep putting those along the back. Alright, so now we're along there. Fly over to the front. And add staircases here. Starting off with a pretty awkward one. Uh, not like that. Alright, we're already along the bottom area. Kill. Alright, so the front goes much faster than the back. But yeah, no. Okay, so. Uh, I have gone this out long enough. We have what a lot of the ship looks like down. We have a lot of the ship down so far. Including engines. They don't look very good, at least in their positioning. Along the ship, those look like they should be the back engines. <sighs> I could look up a picture of the Hindenburg. regular Hindenburg. Find a picture of her, what she looked like. Huh! Oh. Well, I was wrong about that. I'm looking at a real picture of the Hindenburg, and the engines don't look quite that far back, but they're definitely not center like I thought. Alright. Well, hey, well, you learn something new every day. And, uh, this is my thing I learned for today. Yeah, no. This is what I've gotten done. Uh, she looks very, very nice in the grand scheme of things. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye!